Hi guys, it's Matt again from Make It Matt. Today we'll be showing you my device that only turns one direction. So, let's get started. Whoopsies. Problems. There we are. Okay. So I'll first show you it working. So you're going to be noting that this green piece over here um, is only going to be turning one direction, no matter which way I turn this. See that? So I turn it this way, turns that way. I switch directions, and it turns the other way. It still turns that way, sorry. So, how this works. Um, first I'm going to tell you how it's made, so then you will understand how it works. So, we have a ratchet over here. Can you see that, how it's bent? Um, and that is connected to this bevel gear over here and on the other side as well, we have that as well. Our ratchet in there. It looks kind of hard to see because there's some glue gun there. I'll explain why that is there later on. Um, so that's that. On our axle, we have these green pieces which is directly connected. It's got a square hole in the green piece so that when you turn the axle, it turns that. Well, these uh, bevel gears are have a center, sorry, uh, circular hole so that they can freely rotate around this square axle. So, uh, how it works. It uses a ratchet, like I was saying. So when you turn it, let's say we're going clockwise, it engages it over here, the, the ratchet, engages the ratchet, um, which turns this bevel gear that direction, which turns this that direction. So we're turning it there, and it makes it turn that way. And on the other side, it is has no problem with that turning that way because this ratchet over here uh, just slips over top of the sprocket over there. Hopefully you can see. It just slips over there. Um, so then when you turn it the other way, so instead of going clockwise now, we're going to show you it goes, when it goes backwards. It's basically the same except for its opposite. So we're going this way, uh, this sp sprocket and ratchet, they just slip over each other, and, the, and so it goes like that. And over here, it has it engages this, um, and makes that turn, which makes it turn, no matter which way, always this way. Does that make any sense? I hope it did. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the blue pieces over here are ABS, and the rest is made of PLA. Um, I printed on my Net 88, and oh yeah, and I also got the idea out of this book, 507 Mechanical Movements. If you've seen my video on my, I uh, was broken a little bit. Let me just fix that. On my transmission, uh, you would have heard me talk about that. Um, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. What is it? Um, I aim the camera in my face. I think that's all. Oh yeah, I gotta say this always, as always. Um, this is a 17-piece uh, assembly, uh, not including the screw, which you do not need. Um, it's just to make it a little stronger, you know. Oh yeah, and I was gonna talk about the glue gun on here. So let me just aim it down again, the camera. So I used, so when I designed this, I made holes in this gear, bevel gear, so that I could fit this uh, ratchet in. But when you print, it usually sh the holes, whatever you're printing, usually ex shrink, shrink, yeah. Um, so you most likely will not be able to get your ratchet through those holes. So I had to heat up a nail and then push them through, which uh, solved that problem. So now they fit in, but then they kept sliding out like that. Um, so I just used a bit of glue gun to fix that problem, and it seems to do a pretty good job. And you might be wondering how long do these ratchet things last, or yeah, ratchet things. Uh, they last, I think they last almost forever if you're just careful with it. But uh, you can easily break them if you, not easily, you, you can break them. If you go back and forth like this, it's like really fast. 
because um, they're getting flexed back and forth, uh, which causes them to break. I wonder if I could print it in TPU, what that would work, how that would work. Future project. Um, so, oh yes, and also over here, a little hack maybe. Uh, I originally designed this with a cap that went on there, and I was going to screw a screw through both of them to keep this green piece from coming off. But how I solved that problem, because there wasn't like enough space for a screw, is I heated the end up, and then I just pushed my finger there after I put the screen piece on, I mean. Uh, so I heated that end up, pushed my finger there, which ex opened it up, and then, so now this green piece won't come off. See? Um, but it spins freely around that. Um, and, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys haven't seen my other video on my transmission, uh, go check that out. It's pretty cool, I think. And my electric piston video, as I call it. Um, see that? The light uh, those, those are pretty cool videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.